What is up? So Hills kids, I hope you guys are doing great. I am super excited to be here. I hope you're super excited to be here. We've got a fun day. So it's August, right? Last week we started our series about wisdom. And so today we are diving in more about what wisdom is and what it looks like for us as people. Now I want to start with a story. So I do this thing where I like to go to yard sales and thrift stores and estate sales, you know? And I'll go look around and I'll try and find things that are worth money, that are worth more than what they're selling them for. So, you know, find an old uh, piece of furniture that may be worth way more or uh, an electronic that's worth way more or a nice pair of shoes like these. Yeah, I found these at a thrift store. That's right. But uh, what I do is I look around and I try and find little hidden treasures. Now, here's the thing. I think that that's really similar to the way that our world sees wisdom. We see it as something that you might accidentally stumble upon, you might find, or maybe if you're lucky, you'll just grow up to be wise. And today we're going to talk about how that really isn't true. How wisdom is something that we can seek after and that we can grow in. So we're going to transition over to our story in just a second. Of course we've got a game, don't worry. So I will see you guys after our game. So today, guys, we're going to talk about wisdom. Now, remember, wisdom isn't just smart. It's not just knowing things, right? That's, that's intelligence, and intelligence is great, but wisdom is much more. Wisdom is knowing what to do in what situation, how to approach situations, how to move on wisely throughout your life. So we're going to be diving into a pretty popular story, especially in the realm of wisdom. You may have heard it before, so let's check it out. We're going to be in 1 Kings chapter 3, okay? So let's open on up over here. And so 1 Kings chapter 3, we're going to start in verse 5. We're going to be talking about somebody. Let's see if you guys remember who he is, okay? So 1 Kings chapter 5, it says... 
That night the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream, and God said, What do you want? Ask, and I will give it to you. So Solomon is the son of David. If you remember the story, David, he had a son. Uh, his name is Solomon. He actually had a lot of sons, but Solomon was the son that ended up being king. And so Solomon is now ruling over Israel. And Solomon was trying to be just like his father. He was trying to rule well and rule wisely. And so let's check and see what you think Solomon asked for. So moving down, it says in uh, verse 7, Now, O Lord my God, you have made me king instead of my father David, but I am like a little child who does not know his way around. So Solomon realizes he's not the wisest. He's got some ways to grow. And so he says, And here I am in your midst. Uh, of your own chosen people, a nation so great and numerous they cannot be counted. Give me an understanding heart so that I can govern, govern your people well and know the difference between right and wrong. For who by himself is able to govern this great people of yours? So Solomon give, is, is given anything, right? He's given money. Uh, he's given fame. He's given popularity. He's given uh, victory, uh, but he chooses wisdom. He chooses the ability to lead God's people. Now let's check out and see what happens. And so it says, the Lord was pleased that Solomon had asked for wisdom. So God replied, because you've asked for wisdom in governing my people with justice and have not asked for a long life or wealth or the death of your enemies, I will give you what you asked for. I will give you a wise and understanding heart such as no one else has had or ever will have. Wow. That's pretty crazy. So, we see Solomon ask for wisdom. He asks for the ability to make wise choices. That's pretty crazy. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I would be able to make that choice if I was put in Solomon's situation, I would want to do something else with it. So, when we talk about wisdom, guys, I want you guys to think, why do we need it? What does it help with? Why is it so important for us to seek after wisdom? Well, guys, it's super important. And we've got a video to recap some of that, so let's check that out, and I'll catch you guys at the end. So, plants need water to grow. You know what else they need? <laughs> Time. You can't just plant a seed and expect it to grow immediately. In fact, this plant's seeds takes at least two years before they sprout. That's a lot of waiting. <laughs> waiting for wisdom can feel like that. When Solomon asked God for wisdom, chances are he didn't wake up the next morning as one of the wisest men on earth. No, it took time for his wisdom to grow. The good news is that we can ask God for wisdom. Jesus' brother James once wrote, If any of you needs wisdom, you should ask God for it. He will give it to you. Maybe wisdom will just pop into your head right when you need it. Or maybe your wisdom will grow gradually like a flower as you learn from the people you meet, the mistakes you make, and the things you experience. No matter what, though, you can trust God to give you wisdom. That's the one thing to remember today. Trust God to give you wisdom. When you have a tough decision to make or some problem that you're dealing with, talk to God about it. Ask him for the wisdom to know what to do. Then look and listen. If you're having trouble understanding what God is trying to show you, ask someone you trust to help. Wisdom may not come as soon as you think or in the way you think it will, but keep digging. God wants to share his wisdom with you. So, Looks like these little flowers aren't going to grow while I watch. It's going to take some more time. Check back with me in two years, and I will see you then. Thanks for that video, and guys, we're going to close out now, but I just want to ask that question one more time. Why do we need wisdom? You see, the reality is we're going to be making choices, small and large, medium 
long-term, short-term, we're gonna be making choices all our lives. Do you think you have now? Just wait, you're gonna have so many choices coming up. Even if you feel like you're under your parents' roof and you can't really make any choices, even how you respond to your parents is a choice that you make. So, when we talk about wisdom, we're talking about the ability to make wise choices. So, when we talk about wisdom and why it's important, it's important because we make so many choices in our lives, we want to make sure that we are making the wise ones. And as always, God is the best source of wisdom. So if you're stuck with a choice, ask God and let Him help you. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you guys next week with another episode of Sophie's Kids on Sundays. Bye, guys.